we go live into the knife round? A dust two knife round probably doesn't matter too much. Like uh, the Bears legendary 1.6 player is in spec. Their coach, the LG Red. And rare form, take that one out. Eyes of Boomerfu, no worries, dude. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. RF reform. I'd like to go to the CT side. Picking up kit and a smoke on one player. Like armor on the rest of them. The other side. Got Miss Harvey. The smoke and two flashes. Get the mid boost going on for the CT side. Towards mid doors. DLG red. Just playing quite passive for now. Waiting for any kind of aggression to come out from the CT side. Like CLG. Grouping up towards long. Slowly walking out. But at the same time, Rare Form has pushed up a B, so they know it's probably not going to be B. Word goes out to Jacob as he turns around, getting ready for any kind of aggression towards A. Cross here. The encounter comes in, but no trades out yet. And Benita's going to get the plant for platform. So, Rare Form into a retake position. No utility, just the hit, apparently. Open CRG Red can get their first win. Be good. The retake engages. Jacob picked up the first. Miss Harvey trades him out and Cody gets one for himself as well. Jacob continuing his streak. Same with Cody. Bomb being diffused now. Nai gets a little bit of damage but wasn't able to get the kill onto the defuser. She will save that armor into the next round. Ajo Boomerfu, thanks for follow. Really do appreciate it. The CLG Red picking up the bomb plant. But rare form with a good retake coming. And pick up the first round. The two players with upgraded pistols and die. With the only one with the armor is a bit of a B push comes in. And an early stack here from rare form. They're expecting it after not seeing anything through mid. X23 didn't see anything. Plays towards long, so short is open. Push comes out mid. Good damage onto X23. He's going to go down. Now the side split and there's no smoke. Jacob and Cody combined to pick up two. Cody making that bank with the Nova. Fire closes out the round on Potter. <laughs> Big sword. Uh, yeah, it's got to be uppers, man. Heaven's got to be uppers, dude. High ramp, maybe? A ramp, heaven, same thing. The Miss Harvey doing a bit of a cheeky peek. I'm not sure if she spotted that player that went into lowers. She has now, but he's falling out through mid doors. So nothing really given up as of yet. Got Potter over here. Flash or well, smoke misses. Don't do much. Potter's able to get out around the smoke. The X23 hasn't been spotted. Benita through the smoke picked up a nice kill. Max in pit picks up Potter being too aggressive, not checking her corners. We've got Claudia lurking towards mid. Doesn't spot out Jacob. So he gets the frag of the up. Makes a little bit of money. They bring it back to even 3v3, but the health favoring rare form. It looks like Jacob was spotted jumping onto that A site. The long push comes out here from CLG Red. They do have the smoke cross, uh, cross smoked. So they are going to get a bomb down. A retake is going to come in from Red Bull. Players in short, one on the ramp. The terrorists have pretty decent positioning at the moment. Fire's going to re smoke that. 
interesting choice. It doesn't really cover off anything at all. Harvey holding default. Does get spotted by Messiah. So they know where one is. Harvey goes down. Jacob goes down as well. Just die left. But Jacob will close out the round. So, Rare Form taking early lead. 3 to 0. Also taking out the first gun round. I would imagine a Tech 9 armor buyers are going to come in for the CRG Red Girls. If they can push onto a site early. Maybe even a mid to B play would, wouldn't be too bad here. They pick up three smokes. And only miss Harvey with the armor. So not a full force buy. You might want to try and get a double AWP set up. Otter is quite good on that AWP. Rare form towards long. Have Max playing fairly aggressive, there's a gap in that smoke. If any of the CLG players try it, push into bedroom, they will get caught out. Max smokes himself back in. Jacob, work around the smoke. If they do decide to push now, they will get caught. Jacob going to spot out Claudia. Takes it down to 27, but not able to secure the frag. Max lets one out, lets two out. Good trigger discipline, Max. It's a double kill. DLG transition into a mid to beast play. Cody playing close, is able to get the triple spray down. Good spray control. But CLG not a really able to put anything on the board yet. Or show any dominance at all. Potter does pick up that orc. Yet to get a frag, same with Claudia, so girls yet to get th their motor going. The early short aggression here from Max, he's not taking any prisoners at the moment. He's gonna catch Miss Harvey with a nade out. Flash out, oh that is so unlucky. I think Miss Harvey spotted him as well. Claudia in the meantime takes down X23 on short. Max is going to catch our Potter. That's bombed down. He's got top mid control. Miss Harvey pulls out along. It's a trade frag. Down to a 3v3. Cody can hear them running around in mid. If Claudia jumps, she's dead. Guy spotted out by Cody. But he's not able to close out the frag. Instead, Messiah through mid. He's able to get two. Left on Miss Harvey. He's going to book it through to B. I don't think they have any idea where she is. Messiah is going to push up towards window. Will he check close? He jump spots it. Harvey playing it smart. Pushes out. Gets the kill. So, guaranteed bomb plant. Now it's down to Jacob in this 1v1 retake. Miss Harvey playing the window. Doesn't get spotted. He's going to give away where Jacob coming from. Miss Harvey flashed out. It's been spotted by Jacob. And it's smart, not giving anything away. She overpeaks, but Jacob isn't able to land the frag. Miss Harvey closes it out the round for CLG Red. And they pick up the first round of this match. So already, Jacob and Cody with a dominant performance 8 and 1, 7 and 1. X23, like Potter, unable to get on the board yet. But it does have another AWP into this round. Like rare form going for that long control. Gonna boost up. Taking a bit of a cheek of Jacob in a bit of a cheeky position here. If Anita overextends, she will get shut down. I don't think she'll be expecting that killer boost. The X twenty three. Otter spots him out, isn't able to land the shot. And both players get away. Got free. No tags either way. The Messiah. Flash mid. Pushes them off. Three players towards A. Two playing from B site. So mid's completely open. CLG right now. It looks like there's going to be a mid to B smoke. Two mid to B smokes. 
precise, what's it out? It looks like they're just gonna hold quite passive as this B side is getting overrun. Cody gets one, Cody gets two with the AWP. Sai gets one as well. Nice flip from Cody to get the guy in upper tunnels. In rare form, strike back. Double eco for CLG Red. Double AWP setup coming up for rare form. Maybe a quick play for these guys might work out for him. Overrun the AWPers and that early advantage. Wait, we're gripping up towards long here. CLG Red. As a push does come out, X23 gets tagged. They're able to get one. Jacob's able to get another. X23 does go down. Benita with a nice shot. Gets one as well. Max drops the bomb carrier. So the rotation will come in now, but Max doesn't need it. Taps the heads. And rare form. Looking quite strong and dominating in this game so far. 6 to 1. Upgraded Tech 9s, 3 smokes, flashbang coming out for CLG sign. The Xbox smoke does go down. They've got the boost here, so they were expecting a short play. 23 holding the line. Pop flash does go out. This is going to give a chance for Max to peek out. But he gets shut down straight away. Only gets one. Pop flash doesn't work as well as he expected there for X23. And Jacob's up here in Goose. So Jacob could be the difference in this round. Potter doesn't check the corners, goes down. Guy also goes down and it's left on the Claudia in a 1v3. It's the jumping orb. Bit of a wet noodle fight with Jacob. Nothing really eventuating from him. But the flank's coming in. Oh, nice stats. Claudia does get Jacob, but isn't quick enough to turn around and take down Messiah. Rare form, pull their lead out 7 to 1. We've got a buy round coming in now for CLG Red. Potter back on that all. So we get really to have an impact on this game. What she can do in mid. Doesn't quite land the frag. This is that one too, unfortunately. It looked like it was dead on him. X23 does live. As we have Max pushing aggressive again. Constantly feeding his team information. He's going to coach Potter out. The second time, and that's a bomb drop. So now Max alone. He's gonna get flanked out. Dive's not able to land the frag. He goes down. Audio. Close mid, does push out, goes down though. Max. Still holding the bomb. Miss Harvey and Benita. One pit, one in bedroom. Max just heard Benita, and I think Benita's seen him as well. Miss Harvey. Alone. Not going to be able to do anything. Max, with the nice push up mid, is able to pick up three kills in that round. CLG Red just out on their feet. No real answers to what's going on here. The aggression up short has caught them out a couple of times, and Pot has gone down alone in the backyard. Again, okay. upgraded pistols, a couple of Tech 9s, and two flashes. Fast B might be on the cards here, but. Molotov comes out to halt that aggression. Guy flashes over mid, pushes X23 off the line. They're able to get Cody who pushed aggressively into lower. So aggression coming to bite. Rare form in the bum there a little bit. The CLG slowed down the round. Almost to a halt. Not really moving anywhere. Messiah still holding this upper line. Die with the whoop they retrieved off Cody. Looking to try and get a pick somewhere. In towards B. Four players there. Messiah is not able to land the frag. Does a lot of damage. Die in the end actually does frag him out. X23 alone decides to push the side. Nice pop flash. He gets one but goes straight down. A little bit over aggression there from him. To leave himself in that 1v1. And it's just left up to Jacob now. 
So rare form. Going a little bit too much aggression. Getting caught out. Potter jumps up, takes down Jacob. CLG, second round on the board. On a on a force by Eco, so really well played. But yeah, the over aggression there from rare form. Trying to solo take that site from X23 and then also from I believe it was Messina. Cost them that round quite dearly. Looks like it's going to be an early long peak here from Dive. Potter shying away from that orb. Maybe just not feeling it at the moment. No real damage done. Three players stacked here for the CTs. The X23 rotate towards A. Benita just going back towards B to make sure they're not getting flanked out. CLG is just waiting top mid. Four players and bomb. Doing anything yet, slowly taking control of that. We're working up from there. A lot of utility still in hand, so a lot to work with. Bit to B smoke comes out. Three players now grouped up towards long. They pop flash it. No, Dive's gonna dry peek it. Claudia with a nice trade frag though. So Jacob only able to get one from that position. Miss Harvey already puts up short. X23 could get pinched here. Support is coming in. He takes the fight with Miss Harvey and wins it. So down to a, a 4v3. CT sided favor. X23 is going to play it smart. He's going to give up short. Or they're going to retake short, sorry, and play from there. 23 gets one kill onto Claudia. Bomb still on site. Max goes down to Potter. And Benita gets one for herself as well. So Bomb will be planted for safe, maybe. Benita still yet to plant. So it's planted for Platt. Benita does get seen, but not caught out. Eventually does go down. So it's left to Potter and a 2v1. Bomb planted for her though. The double peak comes out. Potter's not able to land the shot. Rare form. I'm going to pick up round number nine. Few missed opportunities there. Seems like CLG Red just a little bit. Uncoordinated on their attempts to take sites, but uh, they get another full buy in, and Max has only got a bison. So, whether they've misread this money or not, Cody pushing aggressive. He's going to catch out Potter, and Jacob in lower here with the bison is not going to work out for him. Cody tries to refrag Jacob, takes a lot of damage, but does get out of there with his life. Max. I'm short. Miss Harvey would have seen the nade come out, so notice that there's one there and one in mid. Got to find the location of two other players. Starts to come in. There will be a pop flash for short. Max in a position to dodge this. He will hear it. Haven't seen anything. Pop flash. The CTs comes in, but Max is only get able to get one. Does get away though. Smoke doesn't land exactly where he wants it, but it, it's enough to delay them a little bit longer as time burns away. Down to 45 seconds now. CLG yet to really move. There's a slight execute coming from the terror site. 23 missing that shot. And Benita cleaned him up. Shouldn't have been missing that. Miss Harvey through the smoke, gets another. So now we're into a 3v2. The mini A execute working out wonders for CLG Red there. I'm taking the site. Let's see if they can hold it now. We have rare form. Both deciding to go towards long and retake together. Benita gets spotted out by Messiah. Cody pushing up with this orb. 
Bye, gets Benita. Miss Harvey in an awkward spot. They might just decide to save here, they will. So, Red Form will give up the round. LG Red will get their third of the game. Move round 14. What's at the end of this uh, this half here? LG really do need to win the next two rounds at least to make it a little bit more competitive. Give themselves a bit of a breathing room if, if things don't work out for them. I see Potter with the AWP is going towards that aggressive B, so... Only does go out. Looks like Messiah is going to play it smart. He's not going to peek into the AWP. Dead. Deep smoke. Pushes him back. CLG. Try to change their plans. Cody. Catches one out. It looks like he's going to get run over. He's unable to get a second frag. They need to smoke this and they need to go. Die with two. Die alone in sight. Does peek the window. Doesn't really need to. Guy makes them pay with a massive 3k on the round so far. Just max. X23 left. Claudia. Except X23, just max. One before. He does get one. Claudia does go down. Sixteen to nine comeback, maybe. I mean, anything's possible in this game. That's what makes it so great. Max spots Benita, but die. Ends Max and CLG Red finally get back to back rounds. You have a look on the scoreboard, Jacob and Cody, and now Max all doing work. X23 still struggling a little bit. Other side, Die really stepped up, and Potter still yet to find her feet in this game as well. So 9 4. Red form. They're on the eco. The only one person with armor invested into this round. But Miss Harvey's going to run into a bit of a crossfire here. Spots out Max, getting a little bit too aggressive. He's expecting another one towards mid. Up here. Jacob playing close, does surprise her a little bit. But he's going to get traded out. Die. Nice tap onto Jacob's head. And they've taken the B site. Bomb will be planted. Will they go for the retake or will they play for exits? Cody and Messiah just dropping that back now. Potter still yet to be able to land an orb shot. There we go. That's it. This is the momentum she needs to get herself into this game. See die on a cheeky flank. Take out Messiah here. Spots him. Does. Take out Messiah. And Cody. Just sitting in mid. Really done anything yet. Just looking for those exit frags. Not really going to pick anything up. The AK is gone where Miss Harvey died earlier. So, CLG Red starting to make a bit of a comeback now. Three rounds in a row. As we go into the last round of this first half. Not a lot of utility on the CT side and X23 deciding to go no armor. Does get one and Potter trades him out. So, LG with the triple orb set up there at T4 and watching the doors. Isn't able to do much. Jacob gets aggressive. Takes down Benita towards along. So early man advantage towards rare form. LG still with two orbs in hand. We see CLG really slow down the pace. Moment. Rare form doing well. Constantly moving around the map, constantly gathering information, pushing something always. They push out short and take down Claudia. Die on fire. Takes down another. Brings it down to a 3v2. See Max getting aggressive like he likes to. What's top mid? Whether he'll make the choice to go backyard. Long. He would have just he heard the footsteps. So Max will be on the quick flank here. Might catch Potter out again. Not checking her corner. She does go down. It's all on die. 1v3. 
He has been quite sharp, but doesn't quite land that shot. Rare form. Pick up the final round of the half and go 10 5. Live into the second half, die picking up the kit, no armor. Two flashes as well, complement that. And on the other side, two players with utility and three people with armor. A bit of a mid play coming out. Benita playing close mid. Flash gets both teams, but Benita's able to come out on top. Gets one, gets straightened out by Max. Potter gets another. Needs to fall from here as uh, X23 decides to go solo towards mid. But it's all a ruse, the bomb. He's on B. Messiah's going to be able to get the free plant. But I think Miss Harvey sees it and hears him. Isn't able to stop the bomb, but she's going to defuse straight away. As we see Die pick up Cody and close out the round. CLG. He got the pistol round on the CT side. Oh. Good round coming up from CLG, rare form, a few missed flashes and a bit of poor communication got players into unfortunate trades and situations there. CLG, and fairly aggressive up short, nice tag on X23, he's on 1 HP, that's some luck right there. Claudia and Benita would have heard this for sure. Max? Does a lot of damage with not able to get the kill. Miss Harvey and Guy combined to get two each. X23 does get one. Guy gets one, and so does Claudia, and it's all left on Cody now. And he's low. Spots out Claudia. He's unable to tap her head down. So Claudia survives. CLG, 7 to 10. Starting to make a bit of a game of this one. Potter. Finally come into the game. Starting to land some nice shots and getting her confidence up. See the terrorist. Looks like it's going to be lowers mid to beam, possibly. Yeah, lowers mid to be. So Claudia's gonna have first contact, but not able to really capitalize on it. Die. Come up at B, does get one. Got Potter here with the scout. What's that X23? Not able to get those frags. X23 not able to capitalize on the missed scout shots until now. Big shot. Big shot coming out. Takes down Potter with the scout. Benita does a lot of damage. X23. Low, but still moving. Still able to get those frags. Messiah playing close. Leads it all on to Miss Harvey. What's out Messiah's head? A little bit of damage through concrete. Isn't able to land that frag. Gets away. 39 HP. This will force Cody out to the open. Miss Harvey does win that duel though. Drops under. Must know that he's gone to short by now. This guy Platt. So she knows where both players are now. She can win this. X23. Going, but Harvey must have just missed it. So, rare form pick up the round. 11 to 7. This puts CLG Red onto an eco. A couple upgraded pistols coming in. Back towards long. Hot flash will come in, but it's going to be too late at this rate. Cody picks around the corner, picks up two, picks up three, continues to spray, die, trades him out. Not able to get another one. So that pop flash, taking way too long to come out. And again, not hearing Max creep up, Miss Harvey goes down. So, a little bit of timing mistakes here from CLG. Probably not expecting... 
Cody to just run out long like that and take them down, but he had nothing to fear as they he knew that they would be eco. So double lock coming in, die and potter. Yeah, boost in short. Should be able to take out Max here. And does. We give up long control. Nice shot. Takes down Messiah. Does spot out Cody as well. And Miss Harvey playing from that lowest position. Nice to go a little bit safer. Rare form on the back foot early here. They still have a lot of rounds to play with. Try and test their defenses a little bit more before I need to really start closing out these rounds. Potter holding this line to long. Jacob. Peak, he'll shoulder peak first. No, he decides to go for the full on peak and Potter closes him down. Just left to Cody with an open hand. Bomb as well. No smoke for the cross though. Nice shot onto this spotter. But, uh, die. Trades him out. DLG pick up round number eight. Double ult working out for him this time. Rare form still able to buy though. They'll at least get one more buy in before they have to eco at least one round. Full utility. Cody sees two cross, but. Doesn't decides not to fire off a shot, so he's waiting for that player to peak mid as opposed to trying to hit the gap. As we see rare form take early upper B and lower B control. Might be might be looking to do a split B here. Be a good call if they act on it soon. Jacob holding the close line to the door. The other side's Claudia, who will hear what's going on. Smokes come out. Audio does pick up the initial frag. Reposition. X23 does take it down. Miss Harvey trades. So the advantage still with CLG. Smart plays coming out from the CLG girls. As Rare Form decide to transition into a short play. Benita at long. I have contact with Max here momentarily. I if Max seen her then. He didn't. So, Benita takes down Max. Miss Harvey now on the rotate? No, they're not rotating yet. See the bomb being planted by Messiah. Short plant. Potter up on platform. Must have seen the shoulder then, surely. We have no one retaking from short. Two CT players. Both coming up. We're able to trade out. Cody, the last alive, does go down to Benita. So CLG red. In back to back rounds there. This should break the economy. Quarter. They might be able to drop a gun. They might be able to get a buy out here on the rare form side. A couple players with lowish money, but. See what they decide to do. Guy having a huge game 23 and 14. Now, on the other side, you've got Cody and Max now separating from the pack. Looks like they're going to decide to eco. So, rare form, take the smart choice. They're going to eco. It looks like it's going to be a fast B play. The counter flashes and mollies come in as they decide to go towards mid. As Harvey turns around, Claudia goes down in mid. Max, straight out the mid doors, picks off one. They decide to transition into a short play now. Going to come down to Potter. Potter has to make the shot. Doesn't. Doesn't know that Jacob's fallen. We can... We'll say that they've fallen now as she tries to retake long. Cody gets a pick on Benita trying to push. And the two orcs now left to retake this. Die. Able to get one frag. I'm still waiting for this long peak. But rare form in great positions. One CT, one sight, one towards long. Have them trapped in as Jacob picks up that kill. Potter turns around. Cody. Buying his time. Would have heard the scope. He's going to fall off a little bit. But Miss Potter picks him off. 
Oh, just gets out of there in time. Don't repeat. Don't be silly. He's going to repeat. He's going to leg Max as he jumps over the barrel. A rare fall and pick up their 13th round. This potter not able to save that all. And that's going to force it. Eco out of CLG Red. Nope, they're going to go all in. So no money left. If they lose this round, the game is surely done. Double Orc coming out. And for Mars, two five sevens. And an extremely fast mid play. Jacob's already down the bottom mid. And the rest of the players towards B. Guy opens up the fragging. Kill on to Messiah. Benita gets one of her own. Max does trade out, but the bomb's already on B. It's Harvey picks up another. Harvey with two. So 5 7 doing a lot of work. And it's just left on to Max. Still top mid. Has an open hand. A little bit of utility to play with. The bomb's down in B with three CTs protecting it. See Max push out towards mid doors. Does pre go to pre fire the window, but die too quick with her. Or takes his head off. LG Red holding on by a thread at the moment. As soon as Rare Form get a couple of rounds together, LG Red are able to halt the bleeding just a little bit longer. Rare form again with that early upper's control transitioning into lowers. Player lurking outside of long and towards the top mid. See Jacob. What's that mid doors? Oh, short. Got Potter holding a nice line onto short. As soon as these guys peek, should be able to hit the shot. And does. X23 goes down. So man advantage to CLG. Early in the round. Jacob eats that grenade. 50 point HP. Grenade. He's on the other side of that smoke. Meanwhile, Benita takes out Max at long. Potter gets one on Jacob. And now the terrorists are split. One short, one towards uppers. What can they do here? Rare form. The over-aggression starting to cost them late into this game. Benita with that lurk up top mid. Destroys Messiah and it's just left Cody. 1v5. One short. Nice shot under Potter. Does take it down. Smokes off the site. It goes to playing in the smoke. But Claudia's there. Sprays a little bit too much but she's able to pick up the frag in the end. Cody pushed off being able to commit to that bomb plant. CLG red. 11, 11 rounds up now. After having a really rough first half, they've been able to slowly claw their way back. 13 to 11. Rare form still on top. It looks like terrorists are going to do a bit of a long execute here. Wait. Let's go out. Do the players come in? Max. With that Peter 50, he's able to pick her up, pick up Benita. No trades coming in. A long control forfeited and a gun retrieved. AK onto Messiah, but he's got no armor, so aim punch will still be an issue here. It's Harvey playing close mid. The rare form. I hope they're going to push in towards uppers. Might transition into. B take. I don't think Guy is ready for this. Like, no, she is. One pop flash could ruin her day, but they've got no utility. So, whoever's first in needs to land this frag and needs to land it big time. Jacob isn't able to do it. Guy gets two. X23 goes down. A lot of damage done to Die. Max doing work with that Peter 50. Isn't able to get another one. Cody, not spotted. Does end up going down in the end. CLG Red, one away from evening this game out. See a, a gun round coming in for rare form. Being on eco.
the CLG have finally woken up. Die, almost dropping 30 frags, having a huge game. Looks like it's going to be a fast B play. They're not going to transition out of this one. Guys flashed off the line. Got distracted by the barrel. Isn't able to get the second frag. Jacob and Cody combined to get the entrance. The side gets tagged through the door. And we're into a retake here on the B site. X23 lurked his way out towards mid. Oh, the pop flash. It was a foul pop flash and it ended up getting him. That's extremely unlucky there for X23. The girls are able to take him out. And they're going to need to go for this retake. They're going to have to do as much damage as they possibly can to this economy of rare form. Try and keep themselves in it. The nice mollies come out, force them out of position. Max does get one. But it's all left on to Jacob and he's able to pick up two and close out the round. He's not able to retrieve an orc. Jacob, last alive. Does end up winning it for rare form. And the money looks fairly dire. CLG Red. They were in this position a few rounds ago. And they had some 5-7s. A couple of orbs. See if they can do it again. Got two rifles, an orb, and two 5-7s. Like, Jacob wants to get out mid quick. CLG doing the smart thing. They're, they're taking that. Oh, but Nita went huge with the 5.7 just then. Sorry, guys, I missed that. As we see, CLG pushing to uppers. I think there was team damage then from this. From Die onto Miss Harvey. The orb. Left down to a 2v4. 2v5, sorry. But Messiah has made his way into C tier. I don't think they know this. Jacob, now in bedroom. Does have bomb just ahead of him. But there's one lurking behind him. Die with your waiting for him to cross out. Does spot him. Takes him down. It's just Messiah. He does go down to Claudia. DLG Red fighting back, winning another force by round, which now puts rare form onto a double eco. Only one player with 5k. He should drop pistols. Whether they'll decide to go all in on this one. No, just a one player, not even upgraded pistols, so they're confident they can win out. They'll probably do their best for this round and then try and win it on the back of a force buy into the next. Their pop flash lined up for long. Benita playing a, a cheeky position close wall. She's gonna have first contact. Picks up one. Only gets a one, pulled out the 5-7, he's able to get a second. Potter chimes in with two, and Claudia on the A site closes out that round. A quick round for CLG Red. And it evens it out, 14-14. But we might be going all the way to 30 rounds, guys. Again, rare form going for that uppers to lowers control. Quite fast. Three players on the CT side as Benita decides to molly Claudia. Right comes out to B. Miss Harvey caught with a nade out. Doesn't get rushed down from it though. Molly's out window. Slows the push. Walks out. Picks up two. Die with one in upper tunnels. Miss Harvey gets a third. And that round quickly changed. Jacob. He's left alone. With a Molotov. An AK. His hopes and dreams. His team's hopes and dreams. They had a commanding lead and they've kind of thrown it. Going to peek in the die. They're able to tap it down. He's able to get Miss Harvey. So he's made the round at least expensive. The pop flash comes in. Benita's not able to secure the kill. He gets his way to Heaton. Jumps up on the box. Able to spot anything. Bombs down outside of doors though. So he's in a rough position. Smoke off the door. Good use of utility. It's only 30 seconds left. He's going to push through the smoke. Claudia's going to see him. No. 
But it doesn't seem. It takes a little bit of damage there, but he's going to push out through the door. I don't think they know he's out. Jacob playing smart. He's low on time though. 19 seconds. He's able to get Claudia, but Benita trades him out. So an expensive round for CLG, but they do get the round. They're on map point. <laughs> Fake gamer guy. CLG red logo coming in. That's cool, dude. So we're going to round number 30. Tech 9 armor on rare form with one AK. Double orb set up on the CLG red girls. Rare form doesn't really have an answer for die at the moment. The pop flash has come in. Looks like it's going to be a BXQ. Die does miss that first shot. It could cost a life. X23 is going to flank around. He is going to get the kill. Claudia and die do get one before they die, though. Before, before die dies. That's really weird to say. This Harvey waiting for a teammate, so they're playing it smart. 4v3 retake, guns favoring the LG. They've got the time, they've got the kits. They need to do this right, to lock up this game, to win this game. Smokes, the mollies, the flashes come in. X23 doesn't land the no scope. In the meantime, Benita gets one. Cody gets another. X23 gets another. And it's still down the potter, and she doesn't get it. It's a draw. Dirty red. Bare form. That's an overtime a thing in this scenario. I'm not, not sure. I would imagine it is. I think both teams will be wanting to have a little bit of a chat before they commit to overtime. LG just kind of rushing that, uh, that retake a little bit too much. They paid for it. Rare form able to hold them out. 3v4. <laughs> you jinxed it. <laughs> So here we go, live. MR3, 10k. DLG staying on that CT side. Magic number of 19 to win the game. 18 all to go to overtime number two. And a double orp setup coming out of rare form. So both teams are electing to go with that double orp setup. It would be detrimental to what's going on here. Because they lose this round, their money will be shot. As Die peeks into uppers, doesn't land the frag, doesn't know that Max is already out, gets a double kill. Die with the double, but no follow up. Jacob just got spotted out by Claudia, he's gonna get away. And they're gonna get the bomb planted down in a 2v3 retake here for CLG. One player low, the other two fairly healthy. And on the CLG side, both players full HP. Fair bit of utility left. They need to use it. They need to dump it. Can they lose the round? It's going to be worthless anyway. So they know where one is. They're spotting him out on flat. X23 goes for the repeat. Takes a little bit of damage. But Max. Tag one out. Benita not able to land the frag on a Max. And rare form. Pick up the first round of this second half. Oh, well. Round one of overtime, I guess. Let's see what they can do here. Potter starting to go with the AWP, no armor. And they're going towards B again. Had a lot of success. Dai needs to land these frags on the entry. Oh, the timing. Should have the advantage code. Cody's going to smoke himself out, but he's not going to cross out. A little bit of a mind game going there. Well, eventually does. Audius heard them jump up short. So Potter in position. She's got to shut this down. No armor. Aim punch is going to be an issue for her. Flash has come out. She's going to have to give up sight. She's going to have to play retake here with her team. Miss Harvey. The edge of the smoke. Not really able to do much yet. 
Let's see an engagement here. Benita pushed out long. Takes down Cody, who was caught napping. Miss Harvey. In a bit of a firefight. Pulls out a nade. At the worst time, Claudia does get one. Die with another all. Isn't able to land onto Messiah, who's extremely low. Let's just see Benita pushing up now. He's going to smoke off short. There's one still quad box. Smoke goes a little bit too deep. They're going to be able to work around it. Messiah does get trade frag. And die. He doesn't want to lose this game. She gets three. And she's going to get the defuse. The CLG bring it back. 16-16. Money on the terrorist side. Still not too bad. They're going to be able to buy fairly comfortably. They let not to go with any orbs. So we're going to see a fast play out of these guys. Oh, it's just a whatever type donation thing. I don't really care for it. Base guard milk. If I am to get a cat, I have to get a ragdoll. So that's probably why. So nice Molly there. Does get put out late. The B play not working out for him. CLG picking up a quick four frags. Just leaving Messiah in mid to go down to Claudia. CLG win the last half of this second round. No, I'd have to get a ragdoll, so they're about 500 over here. Uh, Australian AUD. Because I get really bad allergies. And I'm tall at training my daughter at the moment. So I said if she does, you know, successfully tall at train, she gets a kitty cat. And she's been going pretty bloody ham on that potty, mate. So I've got to get ready for for a cat. Alright, about to go live. Yeah, we're just waiting on the players to ready up again. Here we go. A Sphinx. I can get a Sphinx, but they're two grand. I'd rather get a Ragdoll. Non-allergenic fur. But uh, the Sphinx are uh, two grand. I already looked into that as well. But hey, I got a, I got a, I said I'd get a kitty cat for the little one, so I got to hold myself to that. And it looks like Cody was dropped a gun. No. Late update on the buy. So here we go. Orp on both sides. So no double orp setup coming out for either side. A lot at stake. An aggressive play here by Jacob. Spots out Benita on the car but isn't able to land the frag. Mike goes out and he falls away. The rare form really wanting to put the fear into CLG early in this second half of overtime. As they switch their aggressiveness. Or short now. Initially aggressive towards long. Gonna change that and go the other way. Had a cat named Oliver. I like the name Oliver. I don't know why, I just do. I know it's hell. I know that's why I'd rather spend the money and get a decent cat that I'm not allergic to and, and love the thing instead of hating it every day of my life. I'm a single dad, so I gotta make sure I'm happy as well. This slow round coming up from CLG. Taking away long control. Here the flash is X23. It's blinded off the line. Mike goes out the short. Blocks off Max as they're pushing up Benita. Goes down first. X23 is able to land that frag. But Claudia, she's already pushed away up on the site. She's gonna take down X23. Die, takes down Jacob. Max. I don't know what he's doing, but he <laughs> goes through this short smoke extremely late into his teammate. Miss Harvey now. Gonna have contact next. Cody does pick up that frag. Claudia spotted out. Cody goes for the jump feet. Isn't able to land the frag. Potter and Claudia left. This 2v2 retake. Messiah does take it down. Potter holding this line. Lands this frag. Molotov goes out, and it looks like Messiah's going to sit it, but through the corner of the wall, Potter finally able to clutch out a round from that position. I only live in a small uh, apartment, mate, so I can't really have a dog. 
Unless it was like maybe a teacup poodle or something. Something extremely tiny. And then I'd lose it all the time, so I don't want that. DLG on match point again. Whether they can close it out. They've got two two rounds to work with. See if they can do it. Like Jacob and Max. They're going aggressive short here, but Potter. She's been caught out twice. She doesn't want to get caught out again. Claudia looks at a teammate for just a second and Jacob pounces, taking her down. Hey Simon, how's it going buddy? DLG, already worked their way up. Jacob's gonna get caught out. Not able to be traded, trade frag by X23. Potter is able to get that frag. Cody through the smoke, takes down Bonita though. On the cross. And Max. Potter's dead. No, yes. That was weird. That nade should never have killed her, but it did. Guy. The open hand. Big fragger for CLG today. Gonna spot out Cody here in just a moment. Lands a frag. Messiah, he's cross site. They're picked off two. It's just Messiah now. He gets lost in the smoke. And they're able to take him out. CLG win. I gotta get a weenie dog. <laughs> We can, you can cheer out aloud now, eyes of Boomerfoo. There, they won. CLG. Took it out. Close the, close the game out. They were able to do it in overtime after being down 10-5 in the first half. They're having a bit of a rough one there in the beginning, but uh, they turned it around. So well played to CLG getting that done. Okie dokie, well, I don't know if there's any other games going currently. I think we're all here for the CLG game. 